Recently, accidents involving lifeboats and launching appliances have increased in number. As many as 125 accidents took place between 1989 and 2000, resulting in 12 persons losing their lives. Many of these accidents, which took place during regular onboard drills, can be attributed to lack of knowledge, lack of experience, and poor maintenance of the device by the crew. Typical causes of accidents include improper resetting of the lifeboat release device, inadvertent operation of the release handle, and cable rod malfunction. Following a spate of incidents, the SOLAS convention was revised and as of July 2006, annual inspections, servicing and repair are to be conducted by the manufacturer's representative or a person trained and certified by the manufacturer. In this DVD program, you will be shown operation and maintenance fundamentals for various types of life-saving appliances with a focus on accident prevention. The guidelines introduced are general in nature. For a specific model or product, users are strongly advised to refer to the instruction manual provided by each manufacturer. Standards, specifications and functions applying to lifeboats are strictly regulated by the SOLAS Convention. Lifeboats covered by the 83 amendments include partially enclosed lifeboats, totally enclosed lifeboats and totally enclosed fire protected lifeboats that are equipped with water spray systems and air supply devices. Most lifeboats used on modern general merchant ships are of a totally enclosed design, i.e. they are covered with a canopy and have a propulsion engine. As for passenger ships, partially enclosed lifeboats are the most common. Ships with highly flammable cargo or handling toxic materials carry fire-protected lifeboats. All lifeboats have both offload and onload release functions and simultaneous release of both ends is possible. Following enforcement of the 1996 amendment to the LSA code, all lifeboats are provided with an interlock mechanism to prevent accidental release before the lifeboat is waterborne. Totally enclosed lifeboats are usually launched using gravity type davits. However, all bulk carriers built after July 2006 are required to have freefall launching devices. To provide you with a better understanding of the structure and operations of various kinds of life-saving equipment, on this DVD we will deal with lifeboats, life rafts, rescue boats, life jackets, Immersion suits. Distress signals. And other accessories. 